In this video, I'm gonna share with you how you can get to $10,000 a month in your business as fast as possible. Now, I don't often talk about topics like this because this would just apply to beginners who are not yet at $10,000 a month. But I have discovered that if you can cross this hurdle, then it all of a sudden becomes possible to build a million dollar business. There's something about the $10,000 a month mark that once you cross it, your brain says, all I need to do is double down on this thing to go from 10,000 a month to 100,000 a month, which is the run rate that you need to be at about a million dollars a year in your business. And our mission at capitalism.com is to help a million entrepreneurs build million dollars businesses. A million millionaires is a trillion dollars worth of value, which is cool. It's the same economic impact as Bitcoin, but put into the hands of entrepreneurs who are helping people and creating change. And so if we can unplug that first hurdle of getting to $10,000 a month, then we open up the possibility of building a million dollar business. And so I want to clear that in this video. So first, let's run a few quick numbers. You've heard me say over and over again that a million dollar business is simply four products that sell 25 sales a day, that's 100 sales a day, at a $30 price point, which is $3,000 a day in top line revenue. That's over a million dollars in top line revenue for your business. But $10,000 a month is obviously much, much less than that. In fact, I was giving a coaching call just this past week and I said, if you have one product that sells 25 sales a day at a $30 price point, guess what? That's $22,500 a month in top line revenue. That's one product at 25 sales a day at a $30 price point. If that's all you did, that would be $22,500 a month in top line revenue. Even in e-commerce where profit margins are 30 to 40%, that's enough to have about a $10,000 a month take home income if you just kept those consistent sales for a long period of time. So the first $10,000 a month only needs to be a handful of sales per day with one or two decent products for you to be able to have that type of income in your business. When you know that, you realize that it's just like right there. It's just like right in front of you. It, it's not some goal that needs to be way out in the future. It could be 90 days from now of you having your first $10,000 a month. In fact, we say in the 1%, which is our mentoring community for entrepreneurs, that if you go through the training and you take the steps that we outline for you in our curriculum, and you get plugged into the coaching calls, and you take advantage of the resources that we have for you, by the end of your first year, you will have guaranteed your first $10,000 a month, or we will buy your business from you for $10,000. And we can promise that because the first $10,000 a month is like just the first step. A lot of our students get there just when they launch. So the first $10,000 a month is not this big laborious thing. It's like the first step on the journey to building a million dollar business. So now that you know that it's simple and you know what the numbers look like to be able to get there, let's reverse engineer the process and go through the step-by-step -step process to getting that first $10,000 a month. Getting to the first $10,000 a month is very, very simple. All you need is a good product that you believe in, you need a group of people that want your stuff, and you need a process to launch it to them. From there, if that doesn't get you there, which it should in a lot of cases, all you need from there is a good process for maintaining sales from that group of people that you launched your product to. Now, the first part of that is choosing a good product. And choosing a good product comes down to who it is that you are serving. It's the most important question that you will answer in your business. Who is my target audience? For example, moms, crossfitters, dads who are getting fit, people who always want to be entrepreneurs. That's my market. My market is not just people who wanna make money or financial freedom, no. My market is people who always wanted to be entrepreneurs and are willing to go through a year of crap to have the life that they wanted where they're a lifelong entrepreneur 
doing things that matter. Their work matters to them and has an impact in the world. That's my person. I base my content and my trainings and my events to that person, not the person who wants to make a few extra bucks, not the person who just wants financial freedom so they can travel the world, the person who lives to be an entrepreneur. That's my person. When you know that, you know how to speak to them, you know what products are an ideal fit for them, and most importantly, you know what annoys them. And if you can identify what annoys your person, you have an idea of what type of product would be perfect for them. If you don't know what that is, we have a training inside the 1% called the Perfect Product Formula, which is about how to reverse engineer exactly what would be ideal for your person. It's one of the first trainings we put people through. But what you need is a market that is big enough and some sort of pain point that you solve because it's annoying to your customer. You do those two things and you have a product that you know is gonna convert to your audience. The second step is to assemble a small group or a small list of your ideal person. We do this in Facebook groups. The reason we do it in Facebook groups is because they grow organically. People join the group often for free because they find your work in Facebook's algorithm. And also because it's interactive. You can build very deep relationships inside of Facebook groups. So we build small groups in Facebook with our target audience in mind. My favorite story of this is two of our success stories, Travis and Jenna Ziegler. Their person was someone who suffered with dry eye syndrome. And so they put together a Facebook group that was just a dry eye support community. And they held weekly live Q and A's with their people, their eye doctors, they answered questions in the Facebook group. And they had like 800 people in the group, which is not a big group at all. And they started launching products to this group and they were getting right to 50 sales a day at high price points. When you can come out of the gate with a product doing 50 sales a day at 30 to $50, you're way past that $10,000 a mark and you can do that over and over over additional products that help your person. So we like to build Facebook groups, interact with those groups. One of our students, Alicia, does challenges in these groups and she uses the challenge as a way to build community and rapport with her audience. And one of the pieces of the challenge is to use a product, theirs or someone else's, as part of the work and the challenge. And as a result, she built a multi-million dollar business with deep customer relationships with people that wanted to buy from their brand over everybody else's, even though their product was similar to all of the other brands in the market. So we like to build Facebook groups as a way to build a community. And then we go on to the, the next step, which is launching products to that community. The way that we finally start to take sales in our business is we host what we call a profitable launch. A profitable launch is when we segment off part of the audience onto a hot list. We use email lists for this. So we have some reason for people to get in line and be first to try the product that you are launching. If you do this well, you will come out of the gate with your first $10,000 a month. My favorite example of this is one of our current students, Damian Law. You might have seen him here on the channel before, and Damian was creating TikTok content as a way to build his community. And he built a hot list of people who were first in line to try his product, which was nighttime snacking cookies, low carb cookies with sleep enhancing ingredients so that you don't feel guilty when you finish a bag right before you go to bed. Damien created a hot list of about 5,000 people who were in line to try his products. And he came out of the gate with 1,000 units sold in just two weeks time. And that was before he had product ready to ship from the manufacturer. They were pre-orders before he even had the product. He had come out with over $10,000 in sales because he built an audience and had a hot list and completed a profitable product launch. You can complete a profitable product launch on either Amazon or Kickstarter. If you do it on Kickstarter, you get the algorithm to kick in and bring you fresh buyers and you don't even need to have product ready to have a $10,000 launch. A $10,000 Kickstarter would be a very small Kickstarter. So if you have a 30 day launch and you're getting organic reach and you're talking about it on social media and you're sending it to your hot list, you have a good shot of having your first $10,000 a month. 
If you're doing it on Amazon, then the credit card's already on file. It's easy to send people to that listing and you're gonna juice up the algorithm with all of these sales, which is gonna give you high placements for keywords. And once you have reviews start to kick in, you'll have that regular organic flow of customers coming in. In either case, you have a very healthy shot of having your first $10,000 a month if you structure things in the way that we talk about for the profitable product launch. Just do it around one of those two platforms and you're in striking distance of the first 10K month. And then the final step is to maintain sales of at least 25 a day. And that comes down to consistently showing up in front of your community and getting positive reviews from the people who have bought from you. All of this comes back to doing the other steps well. It's communicating with your hot list. It's being active with your community. It's talking with them and talking about your business and where it is going and encouraging them and asking them to leave reviews and tell other people about it. The way that I encourage my students to do this is to screenshot and document every positive review, every positive piece of feedback that you get, post it on social media and comment about it. Reply to every comment and every piece of feedback. Do the unscalable things, reply to those emails, do those collabs, respond to the DMs, produce the content, be active in your community. Do a TikTok of you saying, this is what's happening in my Facebook group right now. Just be active with the people who are giving you their attention. Doing that will build the snowball that will start rolling faster and faster. And when you're getting 10 reviews, 20 reviews, 25 reviews, while you're sharing the process and building the community, you have a very high likelihood of crossing the first $10,000. In fact, that would be like step one. You'll get there if you do the work. And then it becomes a process of getting the reviews and maintaining those sales of 25 a day so you're taking home 10K a month and you're on your way to the million dollar business. Crossing $10,000 is unlocking a piece of your brain for your brain to know that it's real. Because that's a six figure business. That's a really good start. And it's when the brain can go, all right, I got something here. I know that if I double down on this and then I release three more products and get them to 25 sales a day, I can have a million dollar business, which is really what we specialize here at capitalism.com and inside of our mentoring community called the 1%. That is where we're building a million millionaires. So if you got that, if you got the unlock that, oh my goodness, I see now, Ryan just spent 10 minutes explaining how to get to $10,000 a month, and I realized that I could get there in 90 days or less, and you're seeing, okay, I'm in, let's go, I can build my million dollar business, that's what we help people do. And there's something about that mental shift when you can see that it's possible that you give yourself permission to go all in on it. And when you have a million dollar business, you have the foundation to be a lifelong entrepreneur or like one of our coaches, Chad did, just decide to have a quick flip, sell it for a couple million bucks and do whatever the hell he wants with his life, which turns out is mentoring other entrepreneurs. If you found value in this video, I hope you'll let me know in the comments. And if you want help on your road to a million dollar business, it's what I specialize in. So please subscribe to the channel and I'd be honored to serve you on your journey, your road to $1 million. I'm Ryan Daniel Moran with capitalism.com. Thank you for watching. See you next time.